Prince George lies at the confluence of the Nechaco and Fraser Rivers, making flooding a major local concern. The city has been dealing with floods since long before it was a city. There are two types of dominant events that affect the area. Ice jam flooding in the Nechaco and freshet or spring flooding in the Fraser. In the fall of 2007 and the spring of 2008, Prince George experienced both an ice jam on the Nechaco and a freshet flood on the Fraser. These events brought the impacts of flooding to the community's attention. During the Nechaco ice jam, water flooded River Road and the surrounding industrial area for more than three weeks. Access was cut off to multiple businesses and some residences as well. Water levels rose to within centimeters of the Canadian National Railway mainline tracks. This flooding event risked closing this important main line that connects the port of Prince Rupert to the rest of the province. Not surprisingly, flooding was identified as the second highest priority for climate change adaptation in Prince George. Flooding also relates closely to the mountain pine beetle epidemic, which affects water cycles and reduces the amount of water stored in forests due to the number of pine trees killed during the outbreak. Flooding also relates closely to stormwater infrastructure and management, which helps to mitigate flooding by storing water on site. Transportation infrastructure also relates to flooding, as roads and road safety are crucial to effective emergency response during flooding events, and roads can be designed as dikes which can prevent or reduce the amount of flooding. Largely because of the ice jam and other flooding events in 2007 and 2008, the City retained Northwest Hydraulic Consultants Limited to assess the flood risk for Prince George. This assessment involved evaluating the flood risk for the City, developing solutions for addressing the flood risk in various locations, and updating the floodplain maps. The NHC consultants were asked to include future climate projections into the assessment and incorporated these into the analysis. For large snowmelt uh, dominated basins such as the Fraser and the Nechaco River, uh, we expect to see higher flows in the winter time, a freshet peak that peaks earlier in the season and drier conditions in the summer. NHC also looked closely at climate change predictions and conditions that could lead to more ice jam floods in the future. We first of all need prolonged cold periods with temperatures of minus five degrees or less in combination with high flows, flows that are about uh, 200 cubic meters per second or higher. So with uh, climate change, we expect temperatures to rise, which would suggest that uh, perhaps the um, likelihood of isolated flooding is going down. But on the other hand, we're expecting higher uh, flows in the winter time, which may counterbalance uh, the temperature factor. So overall, um, there may not be a significant change. In predicting future flood levels for Prince George, NHC conducted a sensitivity analysis that considered an additional 20% discharge in the rivers during a freshet flood. The resulting flood levels indicated that a freebore increase from 0.6 meters to 1 meter would satisfy those conditions. The city will consider meeting the 1.0 meter freeboard when building roads and developing other infrastructure within the floodplain. Prince George continues to take actions to reduce the risks and impacts of flooding. Ongoing work serves to reduce erosion of channels, and River Road is scheduled to be reconstructed in 2012. Prince George will continue to respond to the challenge of flooding and is a leading community in taking measures to prepare for the potential future impacts of flooding in the city. Yeah.